Hi, I'm doing my video on All Data. All Data is an online auto repair manual that is updated regularly that shows you service, repair, diagnostics, and maintenance information that's needed to work on cars. When you first come into All Data, you'll see the tip of the day. It's not mandatory to read it, but it's always good to read it to get some good information off here. When you first get into All Data, and you'll go up to the top and click on new car and right here it's asking you for the year I'm gonna click for a 2005 the make will show up I'm gonna use a Pontiac and up in this right hand corner it's asking you for the model I'm gonna do a, a vibe front wheel drive and in the lower section here it's asking for engine size I'll do the 1.8 liter VIN 8 you're gonna okay that once you've done that, you're going to come to this main page. It's going to have these five tabs. Say you're looking for like engine oil, you want to know the capacity and the specifications for it. You're going to click on Diagnostics and Repair. Just let it load for a second. Okay, once you get into Diagnostics and Repair, you'll see shortcuts on the left hand side right here. And also on the right hand side, it will give you system information. These are tabs that you could use. For oil change, we're going to click on specifications and fuel type, engine, engine oil. It says right here for this car, you need 5W30 oil. And on the right, on the right side, it shows you a picture and sometimes a diagram. Now we're going to go back and get the specification, capacity specifications engine and then specifications are 3.7 liters or 3.9 quarts and that is with the filter change and below that it'll tell you an important note which you should read this one says when replacing or adding fluids fill to the recommended level and check and make sure that fluids are at the right level we're going to go back now and when you're at this page, it also gives you some diagrams you can click into. Say that you want to just look at like electrical diagrams for like um, coolant system or something. It'll give you some pictures on the side and you can go through it and find out what you're looking for. We'll go back to the main page now say that you want to know how long it's going to take you to do a job and what parts you need to do the job you can click on parts and labor and say that I'm going to do a power steering pump you can type it in there this up here A to Z you can click on to look for stuff that you can't find power steering pump and it says right here for the parts without GT the part number right there and then the price with GT the part number and the price and below it is going to tell you the labor how long it's going to take you 1.3 hours once we're done that we'll go back to the main page say you don't know where to find what you're looking for you could go up to the top section of the page click on this magnifying glass that says A to Z you're going to type in what you're looking for. Say I'm looking for uh, spark plugs. Shows up right there. Click on it. We need the specifications for the torque or the gap. Uh, spark plug torque for this car is 25 newton meters. And the spark plug gap is 1.0 to 1.2 millimeters. All data can help you find lots of different things that you need to work on cars. And whenever you're looking for stuff and you can't find it, remember you always got the magnifying glass up there to look for stuff. And also your shortcuts on the side. Say if it's like usually a common problem with a car that you've heard from people that have this car, you can click on technical service bulletin. Go into it and it'll give you some all uh, some options in here. Some cars it'll show up that there's recalls in this section. You want to make sure you go through that and look at it and get your car fixed and get rid of those recalls. That is basically how you use all data.